Hello and welcome back to the Out of the Park Development YouTube channel. My name is Alex Murray, also known as AZ Axel, and today we are doing a tutorial about importing saves from one version of OOTP to the next. And this is a tutorial that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. It is a little bit more complicated than I'd like it to be, but also very, very simple if you have a Windows computer. Not so much for Mac. My apologies, all you Apple product users out there. But anywho, allow me to explain kind of what we're talking about, because right off the bat, you might be thinking, what on earth does this mean, importing files or saves in OOTP? Well, OOTP has a feature right on the main menu, and you don't even have to buy the game to get this feature, so we'll talk about that in a second too as well. But you can import saved games from previous versions of OOTP to the next chronological version of OOTP. So what I mean by that is if you own OOTP 22 right now, let's go ahead and get on into that real fast. If you own 22 and you're planning to buy 23 and you'd like to be able to continue your save game that you've been playing in 22 and 23, you absolutely can. For example, in OOTP 22, you can import an OOTP 21 game, as you can see right on the main menu right there. You can import a game from a previous version of OOTP as long as it is the previous version, not more than one year behind. So, for example, OOTP 19 and 20 cannot be imported directly into 22. You have to go one version at a time, which is why all of our demo or trial versions, all of our unpaid versions of OOTP, excuse me, the ones that don't have the activation and the ability to make new games do have the ability to allow you to import at least, all right? So that's how you guys are going to be able to do that if you don't own every version of OOTP. You don't have to buy every version just to be able to do the importing. You can simply download the demo version of each game and then simply run the import and be able to get your game all the way back from, I think the latest version that I know we do have the ability to guarantee will work is like... I think it's 13 or 12. You can go all the way back from there all the way up to our latest version. Don't quote me on that because I'd have trouble with, with, with the devs about that. But I know we go back quite a long ways and, um, and it should be able to import just fine. So how do you go about doing the import? Is it complicated? Is it not? Well, for Windows users, we'll start there because it's very, very simple. If you are using the default OOTP location in your My Documents area, we talked about this in our last video about changing data save locations. If you have the default location for your save games, OOTP will automatically, as you can see, locate the 21 version of OOTP. So if you have OOTP 21 and 22 installed in your computer and you have a saved game location in 21, and you've got a saved game in there, you can see that it automatically knows exactly where 21 is located at. And if you don't see it, you can always navigate to your OOTP 21 saved games folder manually. But if you're using the My Documents section that is default for Windows users, it normally, normally will know exactly where to look to find this location. All you have to do is find a save game you want to import into the latest version of OOTP. For example, let's take the Rich's Red series that we were doing back in OOTP 20 and 21. We had imported this into 21. I'm gonna go ahead and import it to 22. I believe I already have, but for this example, all you have to do is find the world.dat file. As you can see, select the world.dat file from an OOTP 21 league folder. I said LG league folder. You find that, you hit confirm. It asks you for a game name. You can keep it the same rich as reds or whatever your game name was called. Hit import now and it will automatically put the game into your saved games folder area. All right? And that's how you do it. It'll run through the whole entire process of the importation, and it'll run through all of that for you without having to have you worry about that. And then you can simply load up the game and play right where you left off. Now, let's talk about Mac users for a second as well. For Mac users, it's going to be a little more complicated. Mac has a more strict approach on file access and permissions, and it will not allow programs to go looking for other programs. Um, so the whole entire knowing where the saved games were from a previous version does not work. That will not work. What you will get instead if you try to do an importation of a saved game in uh, an Apple product 
uh, for the Mac OS, you will find this. You will be you will be brought to the current saved game of the current game that you're playing. All right. So if you're playing OTP 22, it will load up 22's saved game location. So here's your workaround. Okay. Here's your workaround. Load up the previous version of the game that you're trying to import from. So if you're trying to go from 21 to 22, load up 21. Go to settings from the main menu. Go to troubleshooting. Go to open folder containing saved games. This will bring up your saved games location for 21. And once you have that, I can show you guys at least what that looks like on my screen. So for Windows, it looks like this. For Mac, it will be a finder window with all of your saved games all located in a row. All right? It'll have all of them. Copy the saved game you wish to import to 22. Load up 22. Rinse and repeat with the same process. Go to the main menu. Go to settings. Go to troubleshooting. Open folder containing saved games. But this time, go up a level or back a level to the data location. All the customi customizable uh, folders. Paste your saved game there. So copy and paste it from the 21 saved games location to the data location of 22. And then... When you go to do your import in 22, because it will default to the saved games folder of 22, all you have to do is go up one level, and you can see this is exactly where the data location is at. You can find your saved game in there, find the world.dat file, and import it into your 22 game. That is the fastest way to do it without going and finding the 21 saved games folder, which could take you about five minutes. All right? That is my advice for Mac users. That is the quickest way to be able to do it. And then once it's done importing, you can go right back to that copy and paste it folder and just delete it because you have it inside your saved games and you're good to go. Now, I wish it was easier. My, my apologies. It's not as easy as I'd like it to be, but that is the best way to use uh, the importing system for Mac players that's just going to be the best and most efficient way to be able to do that if you have questions or comments about that leave those down in the comments section below um we'll have hopefully more videos and maybe some better explanations about how to do that with some better video tutorials about that down the road but for now i just wanted to get that information out there so that we all of you guys can at least be able to know how to most efficiently do an import for both windows and for Macs. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you have any questions or comments, put it down in the comments section down below for YouTube here. I will answer those as I see, uh, as I have time to be able to do that. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in the next tutorial, and I'll talk to you all very, very soon.